morning guys it's saturday again it's uh, about 8 30 maybe nine o'clock um i'm here to work on the, the camper again this is a second installment um stopped on the way in today a little java a little apple fritter today's my birthday so i thought i'd surprise myself with an apple fritter and i surprised myself believe it or not <laughs> uh, today um if you saw the end of the last video i plan on working on the uh, the bench and the couch for sure and then work back to the platform bed and uh, maybe take a look inside that wall that's there i have decided i'm gonna go ahead and take it down i'm gonna put up a, a beam and some gussets on either end to maybe structure it up a little bit make me feel a little bit better um so we'll see how it goes it's supposed to be uh, supposed to be 101 102 again today we're not getting as baked as those guys up in arkansas but uh it's still pretty hot it's too hot to be in a big metal box it so i've got about three to four hours to to get in today before i'm gonna have to, uh, to stop it so uh, i'm gonna get started and i'll catch you guys up as i can thanks all right well i'm here today um i actually did pretty good with the bench and the uh the couch they're gone they were i got them out in less than an hour uh, but while i was here i started feeling around i started feeling the uh, the roof and there's one spot by the roof that looked like it was sagging a little bit and i felt it and sure enough it's uh it's water damage so um, i'm gonna pull down this one roof panel and see what what uh how much damage is up there you can see this is all just it's coming off so um he did tell me that when uh when i bought this thing that this unit this uh air conditioner unit was leaking water it was a uh, condensation and it may have run down to that area and that's where it settled i'm hoping that's what it is i hope it's not anything else but uh, uh a little bit more than i expected today but hopefully i can isolate it and get it fixed uh so i'll, I'll uh, catch up later thanks hey guys um just got the roof down as you can see I'm not sure what to think about this. I'm going to have to uh, do a little research on it, but it doesn't look great. Um, this beam right here, I can just stick my finger in it and pull it out. So this is completely, completely rotten. Um, but it looks like it's isolated <coughs> to just that one. Because this beam gets better as you go down this way. That's fine. Nonetheless, I'll still need to replace it. Um, what's concerning me, though, is you see... I can see through the roof. Now, I don't know if that's because that the roof is a white membrane and that's what's letting light through, but all of this is wet. You can see the wet, the water stains on it and the wet. So I need to get up on the roof and uh, see what's going on. Looks like the next beam over is a double beam, which is good because it's right by this wall I want to take out and it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look rotten. A few spots, I might want to sister something up to it. <laughs> Um, this is main. This is the main one right here. It's just rotten, awful. So I don't know what was here to make it leak. Like I said before, I'm hoping it's just runoff from that air conditioning unit and just ran down here and just settled right here. That's what I'm hoping because it's only on this bottom part right here. The uh, the top of it seems solid and this seems solid. I think it just ran down and pooled right here. I'm hoping, but um, I need to get a ladder. And um, and get up on the roof and see what's up there. Uh, I might have to might want to go ahead and, and seal the entire roof. Um, but uh, a little bit more than I was expecting. But of course, you know you get what you pay for. I got a really good price on this thing, and uh, uh, things like this happen. It's just uh, part of uh, doing rental. So um, I clamp this mess. Maybe work on that bed back there, getting that thing out, um, and see uh, see how I feel. It's still not getting warm yet. There's a nice breeze outside of the camper. Um, so uh, if I step out every once in a while, uh, it'll cool me off pretty good so I can go a little bit longer. Uh, it's nice to have a breeze again. It's been so hot. Um, and... Um, I just want to thank everybody around here for all the support they're giving me for this. Um, 
my parents have been great sending me all kinds of tools that I need to work on this. Uh, my friend Eddie let me use his truck to get here. Um, my friend Patrick's going to come and help me and give me some uh, advice on what to do. And uh, anybody else I left out, I really do appreciate everything uh, everybody's doing for me. So uh, let me do a little bit of work, and then uh, we'll check back in a little bit. Thanks. All right, sorry, guys. I was a little bit late. Uh, let me uh, show you what I got done. That's where that bench used to be. I took that out. That was pretty easy. And then the couch used to be right here. Um, and then back here, the platform bed is gone. And that terrible cabinet that was up there is down. It's held in with about 2,000 screws. And that's the cabinet there. So if anybody wants a halfway paint kitchen cabinet, let me know it's yours. It's already got the whole cut for the, for the, the vent. So, um, I've got almost everything out that I wanted, uh, this wall, and you saw uh, previously where I was showing you the roof uh, damage, but what I didn't notice is there's a two by four right here, and right here, there's two of them um, running the length here, so I can pro probably pretty safe taking this wall out, and then just running, running a beam right down here, and then run a beam down to the floor, just to give it some support, just in case it needs it. I don't think it does, but in case it does, uh, there's that wood, rotten wood again. Um, so next week, I've got a friend coming over to help me to look at this air conditioner. And uh, depending on how that goes, I'm going to work on these cabinets. These cabinets look like there's, they got some screws right back there and, and right up here. And hopefully they'll come out. Otherwise, I'll bring out the uh, enforcer or the uh, crowbar and start taking it out. Uh, take all this stuff out. We have the stove. I pulled, actually disconnected the stove and pulled it out a little bit. So here's the gas line coming up from below. And I've actually pulled this out so you can see that it's all one piece. Um, I'm going to try to leave this stove here with and, and build a new platform for it and the breaker box inverter down there. But definitely take out all these cabinets, take out all these countertops. I have my new shelves coming in. They're going to go, one's going to go right here, come out, um, what did it say, uh, 36 inches, and then top on that. And then on this side, this is all going to come out and 36 inches from there over here, or, or some combination too. I do want to take this fridge and put it right here where the sink is. So then I'll run the count, I'll run the uh, 36 inch cabinet here do the stove 36 inch cabinet smaller sink about half the size of this one uh, so i've got a lot going for me it's supposed to be 103 104 all week so i am not uh definitely going to do anything this week hopefully it'll cool down for the weekend and we can get some work done here i'm chomping at the bit to get uh, get some work done here's the tiles that my friend eddie found for me um Great deal. Got them in a garage sale. They're kind of a uh, stones looking kind of tile. Uh, I got six boxes, 12 by 12. So what I expect to do is from right about here, where the cabinet is, all the way back, I want to do it in th these tiles. I think I've got enough of them to do that. And then from this point forward, so this will be my living space and my, my sleeping space, I'm going to go to that restore, the... Um, Habitat for Humanity Restore, they got some really nice uh, dark hardwood laminate flooring that would go on top of this. Um, and yeah, I think it'll really look nice in here. I'll get these walls back to white again. Um, I think um, I think it'll really come out good. Uh, one of the things that I, I do need to fix before I start putting anything expensive in here is these windows. These windows are, they kind of slide out and they lock like that. And to lock them, you're supposed to pull this back and there's supposed to be a snap there. Well, there's one on this one. Let me show you this one. See, this has got a little snap on it. So you pull the wind in and you go like that, and it locks. So nobody can get in and get my stuff. But that's the only one. All the other windows do not have it. So what I may have to do is um, get uh, like an S hook and hook it over this and then over this, or a C hook, something just to hold that in. Some kind of hook there. Um, oh, I forgot to take these off. I need to take these awful things off um, so 
this is what I got done. I uh, sorry to get the video up late this week. I just uh, I just, just couldn't do it. I, I got too hot and I had to go home. Um, so until uh, next week, welcome to my camper home. Later.